Lucy's all. Right. The fastest Earth directed CME, a coronal mass ejection headed towards Earth, my friends. A, a coronal mass ejection can reach our planet in as little as 15 to 18 hours. Slower CMEs and smaller ones can take several days. See, I don't know how many times I told that to people. And people are telling me, nope, it's instantaneously. It takes 24 hours for that would be crazy. Maybe the Carrington event, but not the usual coronal mass ejections that we see in solar, due to the solar flares. So um, they expand in size, these coronal mass ejections, as they propagate away from the sun. That's information I want to know about. And larger CMEs can reach a size comprising nearly a quarter of the space between Earth and the sun by the time it reaches our planet. So, they said another corona mass ejection headed towards Earth as of yesterday. So, be expecting um, to experience problems with the computers, the phone lines, and maybe one day those satellites will be very affected. So, this is what's causing all the hype about the solar flares. Now, look at this. The alignment of all those sunspots, it's going to go reach the other spots on the right and make one big ass solar flare i believe there's some other ones elsewhere plasma lifting up off the sun and uh, everywhere on all the angles north south east and west maybe less in the north but up to the top there it makes you wonder how dangerous it can be uh check it out we can see those are fires each i repeat each fire that you see um in front of you is the size of earth if not bigger so to give you an idea of how big these solar flares are M1.2 solar flare on December 17th, 2021, coronal mass ejection. Uh, there's danger for a coronal mass ejection to CME that's headed towards Earth actually right now. And um, yeah, so they don't arrive within hours, but um, I assume a big one could. But that's um, the sun right here that we're looking at that is causing all the hype. And of course, if you have, again, if you have problems with uh, your digital devices do not wonder why. Most often, I believe it will be because of the sun. We saw some earthquakes this week. Again, um, here is the sun. I got some music up. And we're going to go see also today's sun. So this, you're looking at yesterday's sun. So this is what's causing all the CMEs to come to Earth is a bad sun like this. And I don't know if you know it, but the sun is very aggressive here. So now we're heading over to the sun today. It was really hard to film the sun because it, it is extra windy, but I'll slow the footage down. And this is what today's sun looks like. Thanks for watching, everyone. So I just turned the sun around now, not by magic or physically, but digitally. And you could see on the top, which was on the bottom, that massive spot. Let's look at that close up and filter it in different ways. This is incredible. Here's a quick glimpse of how windy it is and what I had to do to slow the video down so we could see the sun straight. Astronomers spying on a stellar system located dozens of light years from Earth have for the first time observed a troubling fireworks show very recently, December 9th. A star named EK 
Draconis ejected a massive burst of energy and charged particles much more powerful than anything scientists have ever seen our own sun let out. The researchers, including astrophysicist Yuda Natsu of the University of Colorado Boulder, uh, published December 9th in the journal Nature Astronomy. The study explores a stellar phenomenon called coronal mass ejection, sometimes known as a solar storm. Uh, Natsu explained that the sun shoots out these sorts of eruptions on a regular basis. They're made up of clouds of extremely hot particles or plasma that can hurtle through space at speeds of millions of miles per hour. And they're potentially bad news for Earth. If a coronal mass ejection hit Earth dead on, folks, it could fry our satellites in orbit and shut down the power grid entirely. Well, it took ages for me to be able to actually see plasma lifting up off the sun. And no, it is definitely not something that happens every day. Um, it's the hardest thing to be able to show truth and differentiate um, fake from real. So I try and I see a lot and that's why I share it with you hey, guys jumping right into it. The sun is the, like on the left. It's always been like that normal. At one point it started extending and I started seeing with a simple green filter. This is a polarized lens. Obviously uh, the sun started extending its um, uh, size on one side. And this is in October uh, on exactly October 26, 2017. And I saw this massive object leaving the sun. It's a physical object. So whether it be plasma or, yeah, we had a lot of fun with this, guys. It does look like the, you know, Star Trek <laughs> Enterprise, SS Enterprise. But seriously, um, that's what's coming to Earth right now. It's a CME. Uh, is it as big? I don't know. But this is, again, in 2017 that I had the chance to see it. It's not something I've ever seen before. So what you're seeing are the layers of the sun that are extending. I showed it also in, with a color filter, but it was quite simply to see the different layers and stuff. Um, in reality, I'm looking at this uh, through a polarized lens. Everything's in black and white, right? When I started this research, I was really proud, um, seriously to everything that, that I was able to find out just with uh, cameras and telescopes. Well, th that's the idea, but still with smaller uh, apparatus as compared to NASA. You know, noticing the sky, you see things like planes that they say, oh, it's condensation. No, it's chemtrail planes that turn on and off and have strange patterns in the sky. But here are the CMEs and the plasma hot particles of gas that lift up off of the sun. Right now, and science is still um, being uh, studied. There it is, leaving the bottom side. Did you see that? I'll show it to you a couple of uh, ways also, a couple of times. There it is. You see it lifting up off of the sun. And again, I've caught maybe four or five of these captures, maybe 10, honestly, in um, all since 2016 and that's from often looking at the sun because if not you won't see it but that's literally the hot particle of gas plasma you know which that's what the sun consists of ionized gases and it's um, at a very high speed right now the rate of speed of the solar winds are very high i don't know the exact speed but it's well up into the 500 uh, kilometers per second so um that means the CME shouldn't be too, too long to hit Earth. So notice if we see a change in, um, because by the way, there's a coronal mass ejection that sent, um, it, it's headed right towards Earth, right? No, we may not die, but it's still good to keep in mind that if ever things go down, don't wonder why. Here's the moon. Why am I talking about the moon? Because we're waiting for China to tell us about the bloody cube. I'm so excited. I imagine. All they had was about, what, seriously, a thousand feet away? Like, I mean, just like really not far away? <laughs> and they're not showing um, anything that's going to make us wait and suffer till obviously 2022. But then again, maybe that's what the treaty um, says, is that they had to wait a certain date before revealing certain things. Fingers crossed. Look at the exposure taken down on the moon. 
and see the lights billowing inside of Aristarchus Crater up on the left there, the brown area, and with the exposure coming up, because when you're on the edge of the moon, it gets really bright, so bring the exposure down so you can see more of the edge. Ladies and gentlemen, Merry Christmas. I'll be streaming and uh, doing videos throughout the holidays. I'm not stopping. Um, might stop for the 24th, and that's about it, but I'll still get an extra video up on the tw i'll do it the 23rd to have it up on the 24th for you all nothing stops here guys and uh those of you alone during the holidays take the time to stop by the live streams um a few gifts and giveaways for both the members and uh paid members and regular members thanks for watching everybody thanks for taking the time to subscribe to this channel Be from Cause disclosure's coming soon Cause disclosure's coming soon